Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today we will walk through continuous integration and continuous deployment processes and how to ship high quality software using these practices on top of Microsoft DevOps solutions. I will show you how you can easily start using them today and get value immediately. Before we start, let me give you a little background on me. My name is Igor Fisenko. I have been working at SoftServe for the last four years. I am passionate about continuous improvements for development processes to make them much more predictable, robust, and cost-effective for teams and projects. It simply makes my life easier and accelerates delivering of high-quality software solutions. Let's have a look now at topics that I will be covering today. I am going to cover these three main points. The first one is productivity. I'll show you what productivity means and how it can be improved from angle of software development processes. Secondly, I will talk about continuous integration and will show you how important this step in the engineering process improvement and what are the benefits of this practice. And finally, I'll talk about the second important development practice digging more deeply into continuous deployment and show you how easily we can implement it today. Now we are set to get started, so let's go. Within the last few years, business has been definitely changed. There is significant change in the dynamics of products and customer relationships. In a modern agile world, it is important to deliver your product to the end user as fast as possible, retrieve feedback, and deliver new version which includes all requested features. In response to rapid change in business today, Optimization of development processes, such as automating the software deployment and infrastructure change processes, can help organization to keep up with their business. Nowadays, a mixture of development practices will boost velocity and increase quality through feedback loops, and with this, business relevance, market significance, and customer resonance, all required for a successful competitiveness in the digital world. And to do that, you need a development system that can bring your software to the market with maximum efficiency and quality. In addition, it is good to have a system that provides key stakeholders visibility and traceability of the entire process. We know, Gold Rule, that time to market is key. And also we know that key to successful product release is a robust solution that considers every step of your development process. That's why you need ultimate pipeline with full traceability across all your environments throughout the entire automated development process. Let's move on and I'll show you an anatomy of the development process and which main components of it can be improved. Each development process starts from an idea and using development we bring this idea into life. There are some stages without which we cannot deliver high-quality solution. We write code, cover business logic with unit tests, saves all our code change history in source control system, build artifacts from source code, verify them, and after that we have product which can be delivered to our customers. It seems easy, and everything looks good, but we can add some boosters to this pipeline. Often this process is not traceable for stakeholders. It is not good. Because we know that time to market is vital and business value should be built quickly and it is important to reduce much more of project risk as early as possible. In our company, we emphasize on team collaboration, continuously aligning the software delivered to business and stakeholders' needs and adjusting to the changes requirements throughout the process. This approach has proven to be effective when it comes to dealing with all of the changing requirements inherent in the development phase of software release. Also, it helps us to improve development team productivity. Why do we need to improve productivity? It is an easy question, right? The answer is easy. We always need to be faster and achieve more. For example, we can automate existing routine to save developers time and also reduce human errors. From a business perspective, continuous integration and continuous deployment offer better business results. They can bring products to market faster by finding issues when they are at the early stages and small, not waiting un until they are large and more difficult to fix. 
also you can significantly increase productivity if you use the right collaboration tools and services in which teams can work effectively on software projects of all shapes and size. They can also respond better to requirements that are introduced while the product is being developed. This creates a better product for a customer. We have seen the importance of productivity. Let's move on and I'll show you how to achieve more with Visual Studio Team Services. If you are limited with your tools or you are going to start a new project, you can consider using Visual Studio Team Services. Visual Studio Team Services is the ultimate solution for collaboration hub of everything you need to turn an idea into a working piece of software and also boost team productivity. I really love uh, for a new project that I can run in a minute all required services for teams to share code, track work, and ship software without having to install or configure a single server. Let's move on and I will be talking about continuous integration concept and how you can easily enable it using Visual Studio Team Services. I've met some teams that are not doing this yet and are even unfamiliar with this practice. That's why I want to quickly describe what continuous integration is. Starting from definition, continuous integration is a software development practice specifically designed to improve the build and test process and complement the speed with which agile team works. In other words, continuous integration gives your team the possibility to integrate their working code early and often, usually daily, to avoid the pitfalls of differing integration in your code. As soon as code is integrated, it is verified in the build process to detect errors as quickly as possible. If a build fails, the information gets back to the team through a feedback loop so that the cause can be resolved as quickly as possible. Also, the system runs automated tests to verify that the new code is running successfully and we haven't broken anything from business logic with the new changes. To sum up, the objective of continuous integration is to eliminate time wasting and rework using rapid feedback. From my experience, team finds that this approach improves release quality and leads to significantly reduced integration problems, thereby accelerating the overall release process and saving time and money. I'd like to emphasize that continuous integration is cheap. Non-continuously integrating is costly if you don't follow continuous integration approach, you'll have longer periods between integrations, wasting a lot of time to make application builds. I'd like to share with you an example of continuous integration adoption based on Visual Studio Team Services. You know that continuous integration brings multiple benefits to us and we can leverage them using Visual Studio Team Services. What's really great is to set up continuous integration we just check a box and Visual Studio Team Services enables everything for us. It's just one click and the continuous integration is enabled. Also a great feature is the ability to build anything that we want. I really like the approach to configuring build system in Visual Studio Team Services. It allows to build a very complex system using predefined steps or adding your own from marketplace. I could talk for ages about this, but I think it's time to jump into Visual Studio Team Services portal and demonstrate this in action. And now we are on Visual Studio Team Services homepage. Let me show how easy to set up continuous integration process. I have created a Visual Studio Team Services account, but you can create your own easily in a few steps. Let me go to my project and show how we can set up continuous integration. We need to start from build page and start from new build definition. You can select predefined templates or you can start with empty steps and add additional steps as you want. But let me open Visual Studio template. There are a few settings, really simple settings. We should set up repository and uh, select default branch. 
and important step this checkbox. We just enable it and Visual Studio Team Services enables everything that we need to continuous integration. Let me show, show you existing build definition. Let's go and show what it has. There are a few build steps. First step, resolve all dependency and install if we need. Second step, use Visual Studio build to build our solution. And also, uh, last one is run all existing automated tests. If you have uh, build definition and uh, don't have continuous integration, you can easily set up. If you're going to triggers tab, you can see our checkbox continuous integration. You can just check and you have continuous integration on your project. It is easy. Let me show you continuous integration from developer's perspective. Let me jump into Visual Studio and I have simple project, uh, the simple solution mini block. Let me make some simple change. For example, put CI in title. Also, usually we have for unit tests, integration tests, every automated tests. It's a good practice to run all automated tests before you commit all your changes to verify that everything works as well. Let me commit my changes and push to the server. Simple change, commit and push. And let's get back to Visual Studio Team Services portal, builds, and what we have in queue. System kick offs a new build. Let's go deeper. And now we can see that system takes sources, restore all dependency, build solutions, and run all automated tests. It reduces human errors, helps a lot with running of unit tests, checks that everything is built and works not only on developer workstation. It is awesome. And also, I really love feature of live feedback from Visual Studio Team Services build definition. And also, I can check logs, everything, what I need to understand what happened. And now you can see how easy to set up continuous integration process on your project or update your existing build definition and enable continuous integration as well. And now let's get back to presentation and I'll show you a cool feature called continuous deployment. Continuous integration is just the first step of the process improvement. However, it is most important one. As soon as our code is built by the system, we are moving to the next step, continuous deployment. So continuous deployment takes continuous integration to the next level. Continuous deployment takes the output from our build system and deploys it to the different environments, such as dev, staging, demo environments. And we can get lots of benefits out of this. We automate the entire pipeline, meaning that we minimize human error and we can deploy much more rapidly and confidently. By adopting both continuous integration and continuous deployment, we also reduce risk and can catch bug early in the process. With low risk releases, you can quickly adapt to business requirements and user needs. And we can configure a Visual Studio Team Services project to automatically deploy to Azure Web Apps or any cloud services in just a few clicks. In addition, we have different predefined steps to make our life easier. So let's move on and take a look at continuous deployment in action. You have seen continuous integration in action. And now I'm going to show continuous deployment in action. 
let's go to enterprise application underscore CI build definition. Go to the edit mode. And now to add deployment, we just need add a new build step. Click add build step button. Go to deploy page. And now you can see a different predefined templates. For example, we can use Azure PowerShell or we can deploy SQL database. For our demo, I'm going to add Azure Web App deployment and close this dialog. And now for Azure Web App deployment step, we need to provide a few settings. It's easy. Pro provide Azure subscription, put your web application name, and also set up pass to web deploy package. And that's all. It's really easy. Let me show you existing build step. And we are on build definition, which contains our step, deploy step. And now I'm going to show how it looks like from developer perspective. Before I switch to Visual Studio Team Services, let me show our web application. We have simple mini block Visual Studio Team Services and uh, there is blog post which contains title, CI, you know, uh, we have in Visual Studio code for this blog post. And uh, let me jump into Visual Studio and make a simple change. For example, add continuous deployment. Save. Go to the changes tab. Put some commit message and commit all and push to the server. And now let's get back the Visual Studio Team Services portal. Build. Queue it. And now you can see that system kick off a new build. But this build definition contains additional step. Deployment to the Azure deployment of our web application. And we have the same steps, right? Get sources, restore all dependency, build solution, run all our automated tests, and deploy to the cloud. And now you can see how easy it is to set up continuous deployment on your project. And it is really cool. This was the last demo. Let me now recap the main point of this webinar. Incorporation of your existing development process with continuous integration and continuous deployment practices allows you to be more productive and get much more done. Because we are integrating so frequently, we can identify whether things went wrong faster so that more time can be spent on building features. Ultimately, the product delivery chain will gain more velocity and change cycles with contract even further, and all stakeholders will have a clear view on this process. And with that, thank you so much for your time. And if you would like to receive a free one-hour consulting session on Visual Studio Team Services and development practices, please drop us a line on webinar at softserveinc.com. Thank you for your attention. Bye.